Welcome to this tutorial about NX and how to create a drawing. After you've designed your part that you want, um, you can click over here to start drafting. Um, everything in NX is uh, generated in itself, so they have one file type that can do everything. Um, you have different options, cast, uh, a template, standard size or custom size, whatever you want. You have different sizes of paper. Uh, you can just leave the scale to one to one. You hit OK. It generates a piece of paper. Everything within that dotted line is our sheet. If we drag an object outside, it will disappear. Um, so here we have some options. Uh, process in lines. Make it invisible, unless you want to see them. Um, we can turn them on and off later. Um, I'll leave process hidden lines on. That way they generate, but even though they're invisible, we can pull them out later if we want. Uh, we can change the orientation of our drawing based on uh, what we want. Then we have layout. This right here we can turn on and off views based on our needs. So I'm going to select that. Because I don't want this one, I'm going to delete it. So we've got our two views that we uh, need to draw this piece of paper, or this uh, drawing, excuse me. Um, we might want to add another view. Let's add base view and make it an isometric. We want to scale it up a little bit. Oh, that's scaled down. As you can see, it's still in wireframe. We might want it to be uh, solid. So we can go over here to shading in the view style from right clicking. Full shade. Hit OK. We got plenty more options in there uh, to do stuff. And we have our drawing. Uh, you can tell this piece of paper is a little too big for what we're doing. Could have chosen a smaller one. Uh, we might want to put some dimensions on. The dimensions work the same in here as in regular drawing. You can tell that they're a little small, so we might want to make them bigger by hitting the settings and do line arrow lettering. Make it maybe 10. Let's see what that does. There we are. We have a much bigger letter now. and say we put all our dimensions in where we want we want to make a note for this over here making so it's for reference geometry we can put arrows in that lead off to objects change its size and height all based on uh, the parameters that we're given and what we want we can go in and edit each style to customize it how we want. And there's the basic tutorial about drawings.